and it's got a distance physically. That's not my claim, though. So I don't need to prove a damn thing. No, yes, you do, because that's like saying I know God doesn't exist. Sorry, you what am I claiming? I don't believe What am I it. claiming? And what does my claim prove, according to you? You are claiming you know for a fact the sun is intangible. You and why am I claiming that? Believe it what, is why, what use is that? Why am I claiming that? What use is it to me? What's it supporting? That claim is supporting what exactly? Your denial of science. Sorry, you think that me are making a claim that science isn't real by making a claim that the sun is intangible. What use does this serve for me? Because obviously this is my claim. So there's obviously a point to it, right? I'll answer. There is no point to me making that as a claim. It isn't a claim. It necessitates no proof that I need validating. However, for the fifth time, there is absolutely a positive assertion that we have a distance to the sun based on an assumption of Earth's sphericity, Venus having the same radius value as an assumed spherical Earth, and that distance being scaled with Kepler's third law to give us a tangible physical distance to it. That is a positive claim. Not made by me. Right, so the best thing you can do is say, I don't believe you, but that's not what you're doing. You're saying uh, No, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm saying the assumption of Venus being the same size as an assumed spherical Earth, based on a dip angle measurement by Al Biruni to a physical horizon we debunked, would shit all over this nonsense assertion of an assumed radius giving you scaling distances for this intangible object that's never been touched. So by definition is intangible. Inspire your claim that it's physical and you can measure distance with assumed R values. That's not me saying I don't understand either. No, but the best thing you can say is I don't believe it is that. Sorry, it's not a belief. I understand implicitly that you assume R. That's not a belief. It's an understanding of your assumption, not a belief. I don't believe you assume R. You do. So you're jumping topic again. Uh, no, I'm pointing out you're claiming I have a belief in your claim of physical distances based on my belief in an absolute stone cold fact that you assume Venus has the same radius as an assumed to be spherical Earth's radius. Those are facts, not my beliefs. Just your rhetoric being pointed out to you and won't be turned into a burden of proof reversal fallacy like I'm making a claim when I detail your nonsense that isn't proven based on physical assumption biases and radius values being assumed for sphere Earths that are also assumed and then having scaling values applied to all those assumptions to make your claim of a distance to the sun.